Hello YouTube. Uh, today I want to show you how to balance your own motorcycle tire. And before I begin, I just want to talk about a couple of reasons you might want to do this yourself. Um, the number one biggest reason, in my opinion, is if you want something done right, you need to do it yourself. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple of good examples of that. Uh, on my 2015 FJR, which I bought new uh, in October of this past year, so what is that, like nine months ago, uh, I took it in for its very first service at the Yamaha dealer I bought it and they changed the oil and checked the brakes and did nothing else. Uh, they did not change the final drive gear oil like they were supposed to or do a throttle, bottle sink, throttle body sink like they were supposed to or any of that, uh, which is all supposed to be included in the first service per Yamaha. You would think a Yamaha dealer would know this, but no, they were just in a hurry to get my bike in and out since uh, the first service was included in the purchase of my bike, so in and out, do the basic oil change, and then they'd held up their part of the bargain. Well, that's not good enough for me. Um, so anyway, uh, moving on tires specifically, uh, I had some new Michelin PR4 GTs mounted to my bike before leaving on a trip uh, two months ago. And uh, so I brought the wheels in off the bike to not the Yamaha dealer, but to the local Honda dealership, uh, just because it's closer to me than the Yamaha dealer. And I, I purchased the tires from them, and I had them mount them on the wheels off the bike. And so they mounted and balanced the tires, and then I took my road trip. Well, then about a month later... Um, I was washing my bike and I noticed that the weights on my rear tire uh, were barely held on to the tire. The adhesive that holds the weights on was almost gone. Uh, a few more miles of highway riding and they would be off the wheel completely. So I called the Honda dealer and I said, hey, your weights are ready to come loose. Are, you know, Will you fix it for me? So I slowly rode my bike to the dealership and the weights thankfully did not come off and they were able to remove the weights clean they said they cleaned up the tire <clears throat> with uh, you know some solvent so I think they used brake clean or something and uh, and then re uh, put put new weights back where the old ones were so they didn't have to totally rebalance the tire they just took the old ones off and put the new ones right back where they were that was a month ago and now it's a month later and I was washing my bike again and the weights are totally gone. So <clears throat> for some reason these weights that are balancing my tires are flying off my bike. Uh, I'm, I don't know why if the adhesive they're using on their weights is just total crap. It's not like I'm riding um, on the track or putting my bike through excessive torture. I just ride it every day uh, around town and on trips, but, but nothing it's not designed to do. So I uh, have decided that to learn, my, to, to learn the lesson once again, that if you want something done right, you're going to have to do it yourself. So what I've got here is the rear wheel pulled off of my FJR. And I've got it on a, a balancer that I'm going to show you here in more detail in just a sec. But uh, I'm going to go through with you the steps of uh, balancing your own motorcycle tire. And the first step is going to be to clean the wheel. Because as you can see, perhaps, there is a lot of dirt on this wheel. I've got some weights taped there, just messing around with it. But I'm going to take the wheel off the balancer here, and I'm going to clean it up. Uh, you can use a uh, specif specific wheel cleaner that you might buy at an auto parts store. You can use uh, a little bit of rubbing alcohol or some maybe a little bit of brake clean. Um, but don't get that on your on the rubber of the tire if you choose to use that. Uh, but just get the wheel nice and clean, uh, and that'll be our first step. So. I'll be back after I do that. Okay guys, 
my wheel has been cleaned. I used some Goo Gone to remove some sticky stuff, which was where the previous weights had been adhered. Um, and so now that I have a clean wheel, I've inserted the shaft and cones of my balancer tool. I'm using Mark Parnes' his balancer, which is a high quality balance tool. Uh, for the FJR, I chose to do the FZB balance tool. You can use the universal balancer for the FJR or you can use the FCB balancer. Uh, the FCB has just got a slightly longer shaft uh, to allow for a larger wheel diameter, so um, it's for the cost difference, it made sense to get this uh, balancer, in my opinion. High quality balancer with very low friction ba uh, bearings made of aircraft grade aluminum and teal, uh, tool steel. Um, this will give you a very accurate balance if done uh, correctly as opposed to the uh, Harbor Freight balancers which will have no grease in their bearings and oftentimes the shafts, the balance shaft is bent or out of alignment. Uh, if you want a good true static balance, invest in a quality balancer, it'll pay off. Uh, so what I've done here is I've centered the uh, cones on the bearings of the wheel and I've got the wing screws tightened down and I've got them 180 degrees opposed from each other. So here's the cone going into the drive side of the wheel in into the bearing and same thing over here you can see the cones that one's down this one is up so they should offset each other on the balance and <clears throat> and the shaft is as center as my eyeball can make it and so now I'm going to slide on the bearings and the cap so they don't fall off and do that on the other side okay so now I've got my balancer ready to go and I'm going to take a pair of jack pins raise each of them all the way up okay so here is the tire set up on the jack stands on the balancer tool you need to make sure your cones are snug or this uh, metal piece right here that goes into the bearings on your FJR if that's the kind of bike you have uh, you don't want that to come loose that that this is just loosely sitting in here you need to be that needs to be tight uh, so do that before you put it on the jack stands uh, on the ground. Get those uh, cones snugged down. So what you'll observe is this wheel is sitting static right now with no weights on it. And if I rotate it 90 degrees and let go, it's going to rotate back. There's no air movement in here. I just closed the garage door for that reason and it will settle back in the with the heavy spot of the wheel down and the light spot of the wheel up and once it stops moving um, you have a couple options about how you want to start adding weight to it you can mark the heavier light spot very lightly with a piece of chalk and then basically use masking tape to start adding weights one by one distribute them evenly on either side of the wheel if you can't put them directly in the center. I have a ridge in the very center of my wheel so I'll distribute the weights evenly left to right of that center line and so right now my wheel stopped moving with the heavy spot down and I've got some double sided sticky tape I'm going to try to use uh, as a temporary hold for the weights so I'm going to add some weights and we'll give this a try again Okay, so these are what the weights look like that you get if you buy them uh, from Mark Parnes, which is the same guy who sells the balancer. And each one of these is a quarter ounce. 
So what I've done is used masking tape because the double-sided stick tape uh, is probably pretty old and it's not very sticky anymore. So I did revert to masking tape and I just rolled it up and put as little as possible and just taped a little bit to the back. So there's a adhesive backing that you don't want to take off right away. Uh, just use masking tape for temporary uh, uh, adhesive and then once we get it right we'll, we'll go use the real adhesive. Uh, so what I've done is I've adhered a total of four weights so far to the light spot of the wheel. Two on that side and two on that side. And I expect that it's going to take another quarter ounce at least to balance this. But we're going to check where we're at. Um, I'm doing this because I, I, I'm predicting a total of five quarter ounce weights because that's what was on here before from the dealership. Uh, but we'll see. So anyway, I've got a total of an ounce on here so far. I'm going to rotate it. Okay, and see where it ends up. Okay, so still is ending well. All right, so we're getting close, but I'm gonna need at least one more weight, so I'm gonna add more weight and I'll report back. Okay, um, I've got a grand total of six weights on here, uh, which is an ounce and a half, it's quite a bit actually. Now, this is a not new tire. I've already got about five to 6,000 miles on this. And for the last who knows how many miles, it's been running out of balance on my bike um, between when I noticed it was out of balance. So, you know, uh, there may be some uneven tire wear that's accounting for uh, why it's taking the weight it's taking to balance. So, regardless, uh, you can spend a long, long time trying to perfect this balance. Um, if you are very anal and you've got the time to do it, you can really adjust those weights and get them just perfect. Uh, for the purposes of this tire, uh, I'm satisfied with where it is now. I can put it, I can put the weights at a various positions and I'm going to stop the tire and release it as gently as I can. And it will move a little bit, but it doesn't, the, main, the key point is that it doesn't always stop in the same place. These bearings are very high quality, they're very low rolling resistance, so uh, it's almost always going to find a little bit of a local heavy spot. But overall, the tire as a whole seems to be pretty well balanced. So just be aware of that, that, you know, you buy a quality balancer, it's going to <laughs> rotate a little bit. But it's not stopping in the same place when I put it when I put when I rotate the tire in different directions and I let it go it's not stopping in the same place um, and so I'm not finding an overall heavy spot is what I'm trying to imply basically So, on that note, I am, I think, happy with the way it is currently balanced. So what I will do is take off the masking tape and reapply in the same area the actual adhesive onto the wheel. And I will distribute, it already is distributed evenly. I've got three weights on either side of the wheel. And it's basically straddling this spoke right now, which is, appears to be the light spot of my wheel tire pair as of this moment. So I will put the weights there on either side of that and uh, then I'll take it off the balance. Well, once I have the weights f uh, firmly attached, 
I'll do one last final balance just to confirm that it hasn't changed significantly. I'll put it back on the bike and uh, this tire will be good to go. Hopefully I'll get a full 10 or it'd be great if I got 11 or 12,000 miles out of it. This is my first Michelin PR4 GT so uh, we will see what it gives me. Like I said I'm at uh, somewhere between five and 6,000 miles on this and uh, this is what my tread looks like as of now. I don't know. Where is it? Well, I got the weights uh, adhesively stuck to the wheel. Um, three on either side of the spoke in this case. And uh, I've pressed them on there and I've cleaned the uh, surface. And uh, hopefully this time they'll stick around until it's time to change my tire. And then we'll uh, do the skin. So I'll report back here in a uh, month or two or maybe when I change these tires um, as to how well these weights stuck to my wheel when I did it myself. But my guess is that they're going to do a lot better um, given that I've used these before on other wheels and they've done just fine. So on that note, uh, I hope you learned something about how to balance your own motorcycle tire. Have a good one. So I made a small mistake. There, on the non-drive side of the FJR wheel, there's this collar which slides in here like this. And I had this in here when I was balancing it. Uh, I pulled it out because I was going to wipe off the old grease and re-grease it. And I realized that that's actually the bearing right there. And this is just a collar. And this uh, collar kind of rides in here on this rubber and on this, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I would recommend if you were going to do this that you would pull this collar and have the cone go into the actual wheel bearing. Uh, I might double check it on the balancer and see if it changes the way, uh, way it needs to be weighted at all. Hopefully not, but uh, FYI, on an FJR 1300, pull this collar out, just slides in and out, and uh, put a little uh, synthetic grease on it. Um, and uh, that should be good. But that would be the only thing I'd change at the moment.